One of Coventry City Football Club's best achievements was winning the FA Cup in 1987 against Tottenham Hotspur. Twice Tottenham took the lead and both times Coventry came back to draw a level with the second being the iconic Keith Houch in diving header. It took an own goal from Tottenham's Gary Mabbott to give Coventry City the win in extra time. This game was voted in the top 12 FA Cup finals of all time. When the team returned to Coventry there was a hero's welcome as they paraded on the streets on the bus with the trophy. Fans gathered all around, climbing lampposts and on houses just to meet them. Coventry were in the top flight of English football for 34 years. At the time, this was the fourth longest in England. How did you become a Coventry City fan? I don't know, that's really hard. Um, as I got older, I got more interested in football, started playing football myself and just got into it that way. Went up to watch the games um, that way, I suppose. My local team. Who is your favourite ever Coventry City player? Uh, well, in my generation, I'll probably go with Callum Wilson. Um, he's a local lad, came from a, down the road, PK. Um, you know, he scored a lot of goals, a lot of pace, he's entertaining to watch. Um, he brought some I've never really see, seen play in a Coventry City shirt, so it was interesting to watch him. Coventry City Football Club are a club with a rich history. They are 18th in the all-time league table. They got relegated from the Premier League in 2001, where they spent 11 years before being relegated into League One in 2012. Coventry have had some iconic players over the years, such as Tommy Hutchinson, Clary Borton, Steve Grizovich, and George Curtis. Also, in more recent times, there was Robbie Keane, Gary McSheffrey, Gary McAllister, and Mo Konjic. The 2013-14 season seen Coventry sent to Northampton Sixfield Stadium and after a row over rent between Coventry City owners Cesar and Rico Arena tenants ACL, the four fans boycotted home games and used away games and protests to get their voices heard with the support of other football clubs around the country including Arsenal, Southampton and Wimbledon. The second season seen them return to the Rico Arena with a packed out stadium of over 27,000 and more watching it on TV showing the passion and the achievements made by the fans. However, on top of this, the Scarboroughs were deducted 10 points two seasons in a row but managed to avoid relegation twice. What impact did Jimmy Hill have on Coventry City? He took Coventry City from the old third division to um, the uh, first division and uh, without him we wouldn't have had 34 years in playing top flight football. What do you think the future holds for Coventry City Football Club? I think they'll stay out the Rico and they will do a deal with Wasps. Do you think they'll get promoted? Maybe, maybe bot via the playoffs.